What's going on everyone, Tom Gorin here and welcome back to another episode of the F1 2017 career mode series with Salbo. We are nearing the end of season 2 of this career mode and tension is beginning high. Not just for uh, me and our team Salba, but also in the world championship standings. So as you can hear, our agent Emma expects us to finish 14th and higher than uh, Roman Grosjean but as you can see here the world championship is starting to get really uh, heated right now going into the final four races of the season we are starting to get those final upgrades on, on the car as you can see we have got five powertrain three aerodynamics and four chassis with ten uh, consecutives um, I'm looking to improve that we are starting to slowly uh, steadily improve as well and also um, for this race we have decided to use all of our newer um, engine parts. Um, I don't think we've got a time penalty, but as you can see, it's dry conditions, so it's going to be a dry race. So hopefully, we can get some points on the board. So as you can see here, right now, we are here at Circuit of the Americas. Sebastian Vettel has um, a gap to Lewis Hamilton and Kimi Raikkonen, I believe. And Ferrari have, cons um, have secured the uh, drivers championship well constructors actually and lewis hamilton's on pole so we're going to be seeing how he does in this race we're almost ready to go then and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race an immense lap from lewis hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position with sebastian fettel starting alongside looking down the rest of the grid we have raikkonen bottas max verstappen and ricardo perez holkenberg asalba and roman grosjean Ocon, Palmer, Felipe Massa, and Van Dorn, Kvyat, Magnussen, Carlos Sainz, and Pascal Wehrlein, Stroll, and Fernando Alonso start... So there is the grid, we qualify P8 for this American Grand Prix. So, P8, not a, not a bad position, uh, we qualified originally P9, but I think someone had a time penalty, so... We qualified P8, here's the setup, 7-7 uh, seven, seven wings, uh, not really a powerful uh, circuit, uh, a track that is more reliant on um, high speed corners, obviously the S section and then the four right hand corners, but anyway we've got Nico Hulkenberg in front of us and Roman Grosjean behind us, five red lights for the United States Grand Prix and it is lights out and away we go, we get a decent start there, we mug off uh, Hulkenberg and Perez. Uh, Hulkenberg gives us the room as we go down in towards turn one here. It looks like Lewis Hamilton's been mugged off. Look at that. Hamilton's been mugged off. And so is Verstappen. Look at this. Uh, Hamilton, Grosjean. We pass Verstappen and Grosjean in one move in one in corner. And that's a brilliant start. And we are in into a P6 for this race. Not a bad start there. And Lewis Hamilton has got a terrible start. He was on pole position and he's been absolutely mugged off. He's in sick he's in fifth place. And for Lewis Hamilton, the championship, he's just completely balled it at the start of the race, but he still has uh, 27 laps to try and fix that. He's got Daniel Ricardo in front of him, who's also been making a championship surge in the last couple of races. But here's the start of the race again. Watch Lewis Hamilton and plus also the two Ferraris. So as you can see, the two Ferraris get in the middle, so does Bottas. And Bottas has the inside line in towards turn one. It's four wide into the first corner. The two Ferraris force Hamilton to go wide and Hamilton drops positions. As you can see, we get both uh, Verstappen and Verstappen and Grosjean in one move. So it is now lap five. And the gap between us and uh, Ricardo now, it seems to be Ricardo. So Hamilton has passed uh, Daniel Ricardo in this race. So now it's coming on to lap five, and as you can see, Grosjean with the um, with the much more powerful uh, um, Ferrari engine is ma is able to catch us, but not overtake us. So now it's one lap later, and Grosjean, and I believe that's a Renault, that's Hulkenberg. Uh, Grosjean has is more closer now so he's going to try and go to the inside now he switches to the inside we're going to have to leave him the room down the inside goes uh, Roman Grosjean he locks up a little bit we barge wheels good grief he locked up there so Grosjean has the position or not as we dive down the inside of Roman Grosjean he's still there 
So we're going to have to leave in the room as we switch back on the, on the left hander there. And that's a brilliant move from us. We keep the position and we don't let our rival, uh, Roman Grosjean, uh, get by. Basically, the main objective of this race is to basically finish in the points. And as you can see, our tyre wear isn't that good. So um, we think about coming into the pits, but not really. So... We're going to try and stay out and get an undercut on Roman Grosjean. So, yes, we we are going onto the super softs. We go defensive and there goes Grosjean around the outside. And no, Grosjean does not go around the outside. We are going to not leave him any space going into the right-handers. So, coming out on towards lap number seven again on the main straight. This is where, like, Grosjean likes to overtake. On the main straight... Because obviously his car is more developed than ours. Won't be in season 3. But as you can see Grosjean gets past with ease. But we're going to dive down the inside. And we are going to give him no room. And we're going to force him wide. And he is still behind us. Looking back. Um, I think I'm I'm a little bit surprised. Like how easily I managed to keep uh, Grosjean behind. And as you can see we go defensive right there. And Grosjean dives it down around the outside. And again, we're, we're just going to deny him every attempt that he, that he tries to go around the outside on. So, we are going to pit on lap number 9 of the American Grand Prix. And it looks like uh, Julian Palmer, in that Renault of his, is going to follow us in. Obviously, since we have that like, um, compensi, um, I think that's how you say it, um, we have quick pit stops. So, now we are going to get on the, the, the two-second mark. Let's see. Yep, that looks like 2.7, so if you compare the first episode of Career Mode 2 now, you'll notice that there's a significant difference in our pit stops, and that really has helped over this uh, season. So now it's one lap later, and you'll see why it's helped. We managed to get, what, a 2.7 uh, pit stop with um, Palmer behind us, and as you can see, that's Grosjean. And as you can see, we go around the outside of Roman Grosjean. He tries to hang it around the inside. And uh, no, and Grosjean uh, has been rejected there. So we are ahead of Grosjean. And um, Ocon has overtaken uh, Grosjean, I believe, onto lap 12 as our, pe as our teammate still hasn't pitted yet. Which is a shame, but, you know, it is what it is. As you can see, Grosjean goes down the inside. We block him off there, and we are going to go down... The inside of our teammates, Pascal Wehrlein. It's just a shame in this career mode series, like how slow he really is. Because I'm doing all that I can to help him. And he's only scored like three points during the season. So if we want to win the Constructors title for season three or season four, well, I don't even know if I'm going to be um, at Sauber. Oh, that's a massive lock up there, but we still make the corner. But I don't even know if I'm going to be in Sauber for season four. But if I am... I'm going to have to help uh, Pascal Wehrlein get those points as we think about going down the inside of Ocon after he overtakes us, but we think no to that. So Ocon, in that faster uh, Force India, obviously he's got the Mercedes engine and he's got the overall well-developed car. So that's Ocon gone and now uh, Grosjean is going to try and get past us. This is lap 16 out of 28, so we've got 12 laps to go. Uh, Grosjean goes down the inside. We're going to fight him again. And yes, there it is. So we again reject Grosjean's attempt to overtake us. It just seems to me that, you know, the AI are not really that aggressive or ruthless enough to go around the outside and just to make it stick. They always have to break a little bit more later or just leave the room. So anyway, uh, Grosjean um, thought about making a move down the inside, but we blocked him again so now it's lap uh, 17 of this race and Grosjean is all over us right now um, and by the way we are also having um, engine problems and oh Nico Hulkenberg's out the race so oh uh, no Hulkenberg that was a solid what P6 or P5 I'm not really sure but let's see what I can oh so Hulkenberg has an engine failure Renault have the, during the season. Renault have been really, have been really decent with the engines and the engine usage, but looks like their power unit has, has gave out on them. So Hulkenberg is out of the American Grand Prix. So now we are in P5, 
and we are going to try and match our best uh, result here. Obviously, Canada was P3, and Sebastian Vettel! Vettel's out the race! The championship leader! Sebastian Vettel is out of the American Grand Prix! Let's see what happened here. That's Raikkonen. Where is Vettel? So, we're going to see... Where is Vettel? So, there's Vettel in his Ferrari. He is in the lead. So, he's in the lead by, by a mile, as you can see. And what happens here? Oh, he just has a, a silent engine failure. The championship leader is out of the race, so now this creates a massive gap for either Lewis Hamilton or Daniel Ricciardo or, or even Kimi Raikkonen to, to close the gap. So, as you can see, our gearbox is starting to wear out. Obviously, the power output won't, will, uh, yeah, actually it will, it will be affected. So, on to lap 26. Yeah, 26 of this American Grand Prix and Perez decides to go around the outside and that is Sergio Perez into fifth pl uh, fourth place. Now, thanks to the retirements of both Hulkenberg and Sebastian Vettel, we're going to try and dive it down the inside. Oh my goodness me, that's, that's a bit of a risky move. But we've got nothing to lose right now. We're going to switch back on Sergio Perez. I think we've got the move stick. Oh, we touched wheels there. And we're going to switch back again. We can't make the move stick for some reason. We're going to have to give him room as well. We force him out wide. But that is... Oh, yes. So Perez gets P4. But we have made contact. And our damaged front wing is now affecting us. Yes, there it is, and there goes uh, Grosjean down the inside. We're going to switch back on him, and we're going to force him out wide. And now Lewis Hamilton. That's Hamilton. So what has Hamilton been doing all race? Has he been... Did he get um, jumped? Did he get jumped by those in the pits? I think he did. I don't know. Wow. That's interesting. So Hamilton, all this time, he hasn't been in the top three. He hasn't been leading the race. He's been stopped behind our train. And now Hamilton with like two laps to go when Vettel retired from the race is now Hamilton's now trying to go around the outside. We're going to have to give him room obviously since he's in the quick car. And Hamilton, oh my goodness me, and there it is. Hamilton is is above us. So Hamilton has overtaken us. So Kimi Raikkonen wins the American Grand Prix for Ferrari. And the gap between him and his teammate, Sebastian Vettel, who retired from the race, has been... Oh, goodness me, that's another contact there between us and Grosjean. We're going in towards the hairpin. We lock up a little bit. We go a bit wide. Can we keep the position? Yes, we do. And that's Verstappen overtook us. So Verstappen has overtaken Grosjean. And we go a bit wide on the exit of the final corner. It's going to be a photo finish between us and Grosjean. Who's going to get to the line first? And it's Grosjean. Wow, what a race. This has to be, in my opinion, my most enjoyable career mode race of this series by far. And I have to applaud Codemasters for that. They've given the, they've done the AI so much better compared to last year. So as you can see, Kimi Raikkonen for Ferrari wins the American Grand Prix with Daniel Ricciardo in second and Esteban Ocon in third place. So Force India get their, what, their second podium of the season? I'm not really sure. But, as you can see, we are in P7 right there. We're going to get it out of the car. And we look a bit uh, disappointed. So, as you can see, Kimi Raikkonen wins. Daniel Ricciardo in second. So, Raikkonen and Ricciardo just close the gap to uh, Vettel right there. 100 points between uh, Kimi Raikkonen and... Well, actually, Sebastian Vettel and um, Daniel Ricciardo. So, now, Kimi Raikkonen wins... The American Grand Prix. I believe that's his second victory. I don't know if it's his first. So, Kimi Raikkonen wins with Daniel Ricciardo in second and Ocon is third. So, as you can see, two points between Raikkonen and Vettel and 12 points between Hamilton and Vettel. So, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for F1 2017 content. And, yeah, that's it for this video. Subscribe for more career mode videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. It's another triumph for the Italian team as they claim the World Constructors Championship. Another team that excelled today was Williams, who make further progress up the table.
After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.